Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through one more cipher method, guys. In substitution, we are discussing. So this is the Hill cipher, guys. Okay, guys, this this Hill cipher will be really interesting, guys, because the process it will be doing is matrix multiplications and inverse of matrices, and it will be solving the solution. Like it will be encrypting and it will be decrypting in a efficient way. Okay, yes. So it was developed by Lester Hill in 1929. It works on multiple letters at a time, guys. Okay. So once we are going through the example, you'll be having a clear idea. Don't worry. Okay. So it is also a polygraphic substitution cipher. So here also there could be a chance that you are having multiple letters also. Okay. Similarly, here we'll be using the concept of inverse matrix. Okay. Okay. So let us start the problem, guys. Guys, if it examination, if it is given for more marks. And if you think this answer is too short, please write step by step, guys. Like what you are going to do, you write first. Here I am directly explaining the example, right? So you write first the steps, the algorithm you write, and then you explain the example. So that you'll be the answer will be a bit lengthy, right? Yes. So we here we'll be representing the letters A to Z with their respective numbers, guys. So we should start from zero, but unfortunately, while writing, I didn't I forgot it and I started from one, guys. Okay. So please, if you while you are practicing, please start from zero to twenty-five. Because I did a mistake, I don't want you to do a mistake and i don't want to repeat it again so that's the reason why i'm pointing it again and again okay so don't forget about it, it should start from zero okay yes as if in our programming language how we'll be starting index from zero here also it will start from zero that's it okay yes so if you get a text so assume that we are taking a simple letter guys that is nothing but dog right okay so what is a d value so here always subtract minus one guys because i solved it with respect to zero only okay Yes, so 4 minus 1 is a 3 and similarly for O it is 15, 15 minus 1 is 14, for G it is, where is G guys, okay for G it is 7, it will be 6, right. So we converted our plain text into a numerical format based on our script, right, yes, so assume this as script guys, okay, yes, so now we will be generating a random key guys, so this random key generation is really important guys, so basically for this you will be doing an inverse operation. Of matrix so inverse is nothing but adjacent of a by debt of a guys so here debt is nothing but determinant of a in matrices in first year we discussed i think so right yes okay so determinant of a so basically determinant of a should never be zero because if numerator is zero it could lead to an infinity right yes so that is the reason why the matrix whichever you are selecting it is random but the debt or the determinant should never be zero guys remember that okay yes so once you have selected this you will be multiplying these two matrices guys okay so you'll be multiplying these two matrices along with that you will be dividing it with the mod 26 guys to get the value less than 26 that is our goal right because you want to represent it again in terms of abcd only right yes so you will be multiplying it i hope everyone knows multiplication right so you'll be multiplying this with this and you will be adding the results and you'll be dividing with the mod 26 to get the remainder 22 similarly this for second value for this for third value okay you can do it guys i did for one i think so yes we did for one okay so at the end you got the cipher text as 22 11 24 so now represent these things in terms of character that is nothing but w l y so from this can you say that it is a dog guys no no one can say it guys okay because we gave some random values so how can someone guess those, guess those things guys so even the brute force algorithm cannot guess these values right how many years it will take for these kind of ideas, assumptions yes okay so now we encrypted it successfully so your question will be okay so now i encrypted how you will be de decrypting it so decrypting is nothing but initially you will be doing the inverse of our key guys so inverse of our key is nothing but initially you will be calculating the adjacent of that matrix then you will be, you will be calculating the determinant and you will be dividing it okay so then you will be getting this as your result okay so once you get this as your result so you'll be multiplying your result with the cipher text which you got okay so these are two things if you multiply and again you will be dividing it with mod 26 you will be getting your value so if you observe these values are nothing but our original text values guys right so here you successfully converted it you encrypted it and you decrypted it right yes so this is the process of hill cipher guys okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about play fire cipher guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching